Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate uh, with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, uh, check your other placements. Uh, your messages could be there. Okay, so um, you have the clouds. You have a lightning strike coming out of the clouds, and this is followed by the scythe. Um, it could be that you are in some troubled waters right now uh, where you're experiencing some confusion. Uh, there could have been a lightning strike followed by uh, the movement of the scythe, which would have been something very uh, sudden and unexpected. So um, some type of break um, or even warning. Um, something here uh, has to go. So this could come, whatever's going on now, could be a warning that, uh, that something needs to go. Something needs to be removed. Something needs to be adjusted. Something needs to be changed. Um, what we have is a, uh, a broken heart. Now, followed by the Eight of Love, Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is really about that action that needs to be taken. Um, he heads towards the past. There's a lot of doubts and out, uh, uh, doubts and concerns, suspicions, uh, about a person uh, or about um, uh, this could even be about which action needs to be taken but I, I think that um, I think that this is a lot to do with the person doubts and suspicions and it's because of the heart that these doubts and suspicions kept popping up in this relationship and causing a lot of trouble um, because the broken heart can speak to um, heartbreak from long ago or recent in this case it's both it's that long ago uh, uh, that long ago break or wound that is causing uh, pain to the current situation <clears throat> it's causing all of these doubts and concerns about this person and I feel like this is where the action needs to be uh, needs to be taken it's where the attention needs to be put it is what needs to be uh, changed or um, uh, changed it needs to go because it's I, I feel that it it's created the swords and so there needs to be uh, an adjustment in in the thoughts okay uh, <clears throat> but in order to change these you have to go back and look at the wound okay so because it's this that's causing this and clearly what we see on this card it's something that uh, this person doesn't want to look at that they're, they've been in denial about and that they've been carrying this, you know, uh, with them all this time, just wounded. And so every time it came to uh, deepening a relationship, uh, the wound would kind of act up, you know. And so what they're saying is that the scythe represents something that needs to go because it's creating the storm, okay? What's creating the storm is somebody's thinking. It's the way they're thinking. At the root of what they're thinking is that wound. The wound is creating the thoughts that they're thinking, which are is a lot of negative thinking, and that brings disappointment. Here we see a new plan being drawn, uh, adjustments being made, and that's exactly what this reading is about. The blueprint is on the wall. <clears throat> Here we can make adjustments for the vision of the future that you desire, but you have to go back 
This is how it falls. You have to go back to the wound. You or they need to go back to the to to the wounding. Okay? So this is this is uh where uh where you need to put your attention. Um you're uh you maybe were you or they were maybe in the dark about this about uh what needed to change in order to help the situation um it could also be that you were not because of uh because of this wound you may not have trusted your intuition you or them you may not have paid attention to uh, the signs you uh, you were receiving or the signs um, throughout these relationships that were signaling a problem. And so uh, instead of running from the problem, um, here what we see is that uh, you need to get up and take action and do it. You see on this card it's like a, here we have the hanged man in this deck he is the Andura and he's a bed he's lying a bed and he has he's doing a lot of negative thinking you know, he has put himself here uh, with most likely his negative thoughts. And this angel has been trying to get through to him, trying to reach him. But it's it, the demon, it kind of pushes her away. So in effect, this is like these, uh, these thoughts, um, this heartbreak uh, is, is what is kind of standing in in the way or what's causing this person to doubt their their intuition and um, and so they they need to uh, they need to make this change they need to see this person goes into the church uh, to pray and uh, to pray for help um, but in in effect, it's like, okay, so this person is sitting down waiting for help. That's what it is. They're waiting for help. They're waiting for somebody to come and help them. When the answer is very clear, if they want change, if they're unhappy with their situation and they want to change things, they need to get up and help themselves. So the key words here are to help yourself or to help oneself what blocks this opportunity or what's standing in the way <clears throat> is this person themselves they are standing in the way because of a mountain that is um that is in their past it's causing them to keep their guard up and not let anybody in is what I, i'm seeing and so um, no progress will be seen here, no growth will be had here until this person takes action on uh, and makes these adjustments uh, in uh, with regards to the past, <clears throat> with regards to this wound and uh and um the thoughts that they're thinking but i mean like i said once you take care of the wound the rest is all going to change and so what we see here is somebody uh looking back to an, a very emotional situation in their past something that they have been in denial of doing uh, something that has been causing them a lot of grief. 
but it is in this action that they will be able to close the distance that that old wound has caused in their current relationship. It's how they're going to fix this. and get this fresh start. And it, it is what is desired, it is what it is wanted, it is something I feel that may have taken time because he's very very slow. Um, this is about a decision about a couple, it is about a strategy, oh yeah look at that, the king and the queen uh, together. So she may have turned her back on him um, because, uh, because of the way that they uh, were behaving, possibly, um, because of the Eight of Swords uh, energy and that, yeah, and, and that heart would have made the, the water very rocky in this relationship with a lot of suspicions about the other person, accusations, uh, going around, pointing fingers, um, when actually uh, it was these swords that were creating the illusion that something was wrong. And so what we see is a, a very happy event, a decision in the future uh, to come and talk about this. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. The hangman, okay. Uh, I feel like he he now knows what he must do uh, in this respect with the cards that sit on top of it, um, because we have them uh, now thinking of moving forward to talk about this, to talk about the future, to talk about solutions. to talk about a new beginning and a fresh start. And we see that again. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, I've got to leave these cards out. I just have to leave them out. Okay, so the king and the queen, this knight of coins and ten of cups, this very happy event coming in. And here we have this queen again. So here, it's, it's just so interesting. Here, yeah. she's facing uh, the past. And here now she's turned around uh, and facing the future because the reason being is that now with that butterfly on the tip of her sword, it's not on this one. It is on this one and we see a bird up here. So now she has that bird's eye view. She has the bigger picture because of this person who has come back in um, to talk, um, to pour out their heart. And, and so now this is about uh, a discussion or we'll go into a discussion about this new opportunity and moving this uh, relationship um, uh, to calmer waters or to a better place to actually, look at that, wow, they're going to move it actually right into uh, the vision. They're going to make this a reality. This is simply a vision here because in this deck, they're standing on the outside of it. Now they're making it happen. This is a card of deepening a relationship. Solutions. It is that lucky break. Okay. Before, this is where the adjustments, there were adjustments that needed to be made in order for this vision to become a reality. Right? Um, and to do that, they had to go back and look at the broken heart, right? Which is actually uh, the first card out in the reading and is also sitting at the root of the reading, okay? That's where the adjustments needed to be made for the vision for the future. Now, um, now it can be moved forward. Now, why? Because they've learned what they needed to know. The Wheel of Fortune is about lessons, learning what you need to know, okay? So they did, and now they can move forward, but there's a cautionary note, okay? Don't bring any of those swords forward. Deal with them. You need to take action on, 
on those swords and deal with them before so it doesn't affect the relationship in the future okay so those swords represent old wounds and scars things that sit in the deep past that were never healed and still follow you and that's exactly what this is about it is exactly what you were supposed to learn or they were supposed to learn supposed to do in order to move this forward <clears throat> okay so the the thing is um that they have dealt with them but they have to keep up the work because that's not something that really goes away overnight you have to work at it so you can move forward uh, or you will move forward uh, with this relationship you have this very happy event but there is that note of caution to be careful of that eight of swords don't slip back there understand and know that when when you start to feel those old feelings again know where they came from and nip them in the bud <clears throat> So, this is definitely <clears throat> after inner reflection, which is, again, what they were doing, we get news. We get a visitor. Oh, look at that. A love message. <clears throat> and we get uh, news. Look at that. Wow. How the cards, have, they just fall. Wow. Uh, news. This news has not yet left the ground, but it is coming within an eight. We have uh, this decision, this um, uh, <clears throat> chance to wipe the slate clean. Second chances. So <clears throat> that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Um, many blessings to all of you.